Hello! In this video, I'm going to talk about probability, the math function logarithm, and do some JavaScript HTML stuff to simulate the Hamilton lottery. So really, the larger topic here is lotteries. What does that have to do with probability? And how can I make a web page that sort of simulates entering a lottery many, many times to kind of predict and understand what's the chances of really winning that particular lottery over time? And if you don't know, Hamilton is a wonderful Broadway musical. You can enter a lottery every day where 21 front row tickets will be sold to the winners at $10 each. I entered every day. I have not won yet. But I'm going to make a little example here that allows you to simulate entering it thousands of times so that that everybody can win the Hamilton lottery. Okay, so let's first think about the, this uh, probability question we have. So let's say, let's be a little bit simpler about this and just say there are 20 front row tickets. So let me come over here and say there are 20 tickets, which are 10 pairs. So when you enter the lottery, you can enter the lottery for two tickets. So let's say there are 10 winners. Now, the other question we have to know is like how many people are entering this particular lottery? I don't know the answer to that. I'm going to estimate based on my sense of the world in New York City, I'm going to estimate it at 50,000. I don't know if that's maybe way off, but let's estimate that there are 50,000 entrants. So the lottery has, oh, this has a little bit of glare up here, but hopefully you can see that. 10 winners, 50,000 entrants. Now you probably know that if I, if I have a coin, look, I have a prop. If I have a coin, this is so exciting, I have a prop. If I have a coin and I flip the coin, there's a one out of two chance of it being heads, right? Because there are two possible outcomes. One is heads, one of tails, meaning there's a one out of two or 50% chance of winning that lottery. So if there are 10 winners out of 50,000, 10 winners out of 50,000, this means there is a one out of 5,000 chance of winning this particular lottery. So what I want to do now is switch to write some code to simulate this probability. Let the lottery run over and over again and see if we will eventually win. I'm going to get back to a lot more about this in a minute. <laughs> Coming back to the computer, I'm going to show you what I'm setting up for this set of tutorials, which is a web page where I'm going to uh, write information about probability and odds and then also have things happen dynamically, like the lottery run or you change numbers and probabilities change, that sort of thing. So the pieces of this are an HTML file which holds this content and a JavaScript file where all the math and code and logic of the probability will play out. So let me briefly just look at the HTML file and I'm going to add a sentence that says, uh, you have a 1 in 5,000 chance of winning. And then I'm going to hit refresh this page, and you can see you have a 1 in 5,000 chance of winning. So let me ask the question now. This is the sort of key question. How long, how many times would you have to play that lottery to really guarantee that you're going to win at least one of those times, right? What if you play the lottery twice? You do it today and tomorrow. What are your chances of winning at least one of those times? Now you might think that the answer to that is you have a 2 in 5,000 chance of winning um, one of those times. But this is actually not the case. So let's do some more probability math. <laughs> this is really exciting stuff and if, uh, it's not really, or if it is or it isn't, but whatever, you can just turn this off if you're like, go away crazy person about probability. Okay, let's think about this. So let's, remember flipping a coin? I think I was here before. You have a one out of two chance of getting 50%. What if you flip, I'm oh, sorry, a one out of two chance of getting heads. What if you flip that coin twice? What if you flip that coin twice? You don't have a two out of two chance of getting heads at least one of those times. You could easily flip the coin twice and have it be tails both times, right? But you do know that you have a one out of two times a one out of two chance of getting tails two times in a row, which means you have a one out of two, ch oh, sorry, a one out of four chance of getting tails twice in a row. If you have a one out of four chance of getting tails twice in a row, that means you have a three out of four chance of not getting tails twice in a row. And what's the equivalent of not getting tails twice in a row? It's getting heads at least one of those times. So the way the probability works of thinking of, if I'm going to enter this lottery two times, right, the chance of me not winning the lottery is 4,999 out of 5,000. The chance of me not winning the lottery again is 
4,999 out of 5,000. So the chance of me not winning the lottery twice in a row is this times this. And in fact, what is the chance? Um, and, and ah, camera, come back. So let's go play that math, math out a little bit more here. And I'm going to come back. <laughs> I'm going to come back to the browser, and I'm just going to use the calculator. So if I say 4,099, I was doing this math earlier, apparently, uh, right? If, if, I, if I do this math now in the browser, and I'm going to get a nice little like Google calculator, probably, you can see that this is still my chance of not winning the lottery, meaning my chance of winning the lottery is not that much better than doing it once. But another way of writing this, uh, come Another way of writing this is to the second power. So you can see this is the chance of me not winning the lottery both times I play it. But what if I play it 200 times? The chance of me not winning the lottery 200 times in a row is 96%. This means if I play the lottery 200 times, I have a 4% chance of winning at least once. Not so great, 200 times. I don't know how many shows Hamilton does in a year, but what if I were to play it 2,000 times? I have a, now I have a 2 thirds chance of not winning all those times, meaning a 1 third chance of winning. And if I play it about 25, uh, maybe 5,000 times? Uh, no, I was trying to get, what's the 2,500? I feel like I did this math earlier. Uh, 3,000? I want to get to around 50%. Okay, well, that's about 50%. You can see if I play the lottery 3,000 times, what, what we're learning is you're not going to win that often. But get the idea of this probability here. This is how you work this out. Now we have another problem though. Let's say I actually just want to, so, so let me, let's say I actually just want to do some math. I, like I'm just typing in numbers to try to figure out the probability. But what if I actually want to solve this as a formula? So what, I, what I'm saying is, erase all this, I have a 1 in 5,000 chance of winning the lottery, meaning I have a 4,999 chance of, out of 5,000 of not winning the lottery. How many times do I have to play to the nth power to have let's say a 0.01, a 1% chance of not winning the lottery all of those times. So what I'm asking, what I'm trying to solve for is how many times would I have to play the Hamilton lottery to have a 99% chance of winning the lottery at least one of those times? And I need to solve for n. Now is where some more math comes in. How do you solve an exponential equation? Something like 2 to the n equals 64, right? How do you solve an equation like this, which is kind of the equivalent thing? Now, looking at this, I can see, because I know, and I thought of this earlier this morning, that 2 to the 6th power equals 64. So, but this isn't, you know, there's no way I can just, in my head, sort of see, visualize the answer to this equation. I need to figure out a way of solving for it and maybe ultimately using the calculator or some code to solve for it. So how do we do that? Well, the way to do that is with a mathematical function called logarithm. So logarithm is the inverse of exponents, meaning log base 2 of 64 equals 6. 2 to the 6th power equals 64. So in that sense, if I, if this is the thing I'm trying to solve, oh wait, sorry. If this is the thing I'm trying to solve for, then the answer equals log base this of 64. So the question here is log, right, log base 499 divided by 5,000 of 0 0.01 equals n. So this is what I need to do. <laughs> I need to calculate log base 499, 
4,999 divided by 5,000 of 0 0.01. That's the number of times I need to play the lottery to have a 1% chance of not winning all those times, meaning a 99% chance of winning at least once. So let's go back to this calculator over here and we'll see that log. There is a log and there's also this ln, which is natural log. Okay, and if I go to P5, I already have this page loaded. If I go to the P5JS reference, there is a log function in JavaScript. So I could use this to make this calculation in my code. The problem is the, the, the calculator and the JavaScript function only the, uh, assume log base 10. So how do I solve this? Well, it turns out, and this has to do with the log, the, the law of exponents and how logarithms work, and we're going to kind of skip over deriving this, but maybe if people are interested, write in the comments and I'll make a separate video that goes through just this part. I can actually um, say the equivalent here, the equivalent of this, right, n equals log base 2 of 64. I can also say n equals log base 10 of 64 divided by log base 2 of 64. So these are actually the equivalent. So what I can do here is say n equals log, uh, I got turned around here for a second, uh, log base 10, this is, sorry, 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 this is wrong, log base 10 of 2. <laughs> log base 10 of 64 here, meaning uh, 0.01 divided by log base 10 of 4,999 4 divided by 5,000. <laughs> you guys having a, 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 a headache right now, right? So this is actually the way that I can solve for this particular um, probability problem. So let's come over here. Oops, I'm, I'm, where am I over here? And let's go back to the calculator. Uh, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say log of 0 0.01 divided by log, whoops, log of 4,999 4 divided by 5,000. Uh, and what does that equal? 23,023. So I need to play the lottery 20, around 23,000 times to have a 99% chance of winning it at least once. So I'm going to go back to my code now and I'm going to say, in, in order to have a 99% chance of winning the lottery at least one time, you must play approximately 23,000 times. <laughs> okay, so if I come back here, Look at this page. We can see this is where I'm starting. So what I've done is that I have done now sort of like the theoretical math here, which is that saying there's 10 pairs of tickets, 50,000 people entering the lottery, one entry has a 1 in 5,000 chance of winning, and if you play around 23,000 times, you're going to have a 99% chance of winning at least once. <laughs> so this concludes this particular uh, video just discussing the math behind the Hamilton lottery itself. And what I'm going to do in the next video is add a lot of JavaScript code to simulate the lottery, allow users on this web page to change the numbers around, and have the lottery continue to simulate, simulate based on new probabilities. And that will be in the next video.